guys, it's Charlie with Flyover Country Vlogs. We're going to get this started, get this channel going. Um, first things first, I'm going to do the unveiling of the new camera and the new gear. Um, I'm starting the video on my S8. Uh, towards the end, we're going to switch over to the new camera and let you know, let you see how it performs and how it works now I'm just now learning the camera I just now started it so bear with me we're gonna grow together so here goes first things first is the camera okay here we go all right this camera I picked up for uh, $300 no it was 270 on eBay and it's used but it'll do good for now um, it's a good learning camera it's got a lot of good features it's not a DSLR like I wanted but it'll, it'll do good for what I need um, to start this channel off and get it going so stay tuned here we go all right what we got here is the Canon SX60 HS um, bridge camera. Um, this has a time 65 optical zoom, full HD camera with a three inch movable screen. Now we can flip this screen all the way over to do vlogging. You can angle it however you need to for high angle shots. Turn it back, normal. So you got a really nice screen. Now you can flip it off and do the optical viewer like a regular camera. Um, I've used both so far and I like them both. Um, a lot of good options. Uh, your menu button down here at the corner. Uh, the little blue screen phone is able to connect to my S8 or to your iPhone. Whichever case may be, you can control it. Um, zoom it in, take pictures. The only thing you can't do with it is um, video. A um, little disappointing, but you know, it's not that bad. Uh, of course, you got all your displays and all your and all your features here. Your trash button, record button. It does have a separate record button, which I do like. Um, a lot of cameras, you have to turn your dial to video. Um, this one's got a separate record button. Over here on the right hand side you got your plug for your AV out, your HDMI port, your charging port, uh, and all that good stuff. Okay. Over here on the left, which was the top selling feature for me, reason why I chose this camera, is this right here. If I can get it to open. Alright, this is an external mic input. Another reason why I chose the camera. Now, if you guys watched my first video, um, you saw that the auto audio just wasn't very good on that um, GoPro I had, the cheap one, because um, it didn't have an external mic, and the internal mic isn't very good. So that's why I went ahead and chose this camera. Now, this camera is Wi-Fi enabled. It also is in-share enabled for um, your phones. You tap your phone on there. You can share pictures and uh, video and all that good stuff. Up here, you got your uh, dial selector. Choose your different functions of the camera. Um, I'm still learning all that, so bear with me. Your on and off button. Your little selector for um, your AF viewer and all that good stuff. Up here, you got your zoom. Again, this camera zooms all the way out to 65 times magnification. That is a long way. Here, let me show you how far it goes out, okay? That is a long way. You can shoot far shots at 16.1 megapixels. That is unreal. So basically, you got the features of a DSLR, you know, most features anyways, you know, you still have the, this one lens that's, you know, not interchangeable, but um, you can put hoods and filters and all that good stuff on it. Um, it does have a hotspot for a 
um, external for a um, torpedo mic or a uh, separate flash. It does have its own flash if you chose to use that one. Eventually I like to get a regular flash. Um, here's a here's a good look at the display. Let me zoom it back out so, so you can actually see it. Okay, here we go. See, look at that. Nice and clear. Focuses really well. It does have facial tracking. Good image stabilization. Um, excellent battery. Um, I think you can take like 400 pictures on this before the battery goes dead. Um, I do just have the single battery for it. I'm eventually going to get more, but um, it should suffice for a while. So, all right, there's the walkthrough. Again, I bought this camera used. Um, I could have very well bought the camera brand new with the kit um, for about $400, but, um, or $430 or whatever it was. Um, but I chose to try to see if I can find a bargain, and I kind of did. As I said, I gave a little over $300 for it. Um, it does have one little scratch down there at the bottom. Um, there's a little blemish right there, but the screen is clean. The lens is clear, no scratches, and the body is really good. It did come with the neck strap, came with the battery, a charger, and that's it, and a, and a lens cover. Um, it didn't come with any cords, so, but coming up, I'm going to switch over to the, the camera, and we're going to go through the kit I ordered off of Amazon, and go through everything that it came with, and uh, we'll see, see what you think. All right. All right, guys, try this another time again. So, here goes. Uh, I'm going to go over the kit that I got from Amazon to go with this camera. Um, comes with a bunch of accessories. Now this kit was about $76 uh, with shipping and it is a universal Canon camera kit. Uh, go with you know most of your power shots, you know all the power shot series and some other cameras but I really don't see how it won't go with um, just about any camera out there. Uh, so again Amazon best friend. All right so uh, first thing first is it came with a really, really nice cleaning kit. Uh, this cleaning kit included, um, some cleaning spray. I think this is just standard, uh, eyeglass spray, but I'm not sure. Um, if you know anything about it, uh, let me know if it's anything different. Um, but yeah, it came with a really nice spray bottle cap on it. Works good. Uh, it came with a cleaning pen. Now this cleaning pen has a uh, brush to brush away dirt and and then a spot cleaner with the cap uh, this also has a pocket clip makes it handy for when you're just out there just shooting and you you, know, you don't have your bag with you and you're you're just you need to get a quick clean on it so work good for that um, it came with a dust sprayer uh, blow away dust so you don't scratch the camera don't scratch the lenses because um, that's not good. Um, came with some screen protectors. They're uh, cut to fit, uh, but it does have rulers on it and some uh, guidelines, as you can see. So I got to get that cut and get them on there. Um, there. Should be enough there for probably two, you know, two uses. Uh, so, but probably order more of that eventually. Uh, really nice thing is it came with three separate um, lens cleaners. Um, wipes they uh i've already used one i've got two more to go to use once this one gets dirty keep them in the package you'll keep them clean keep them dry um came with and the last thing it came with some q-tips uh i'm probably gonna uh get one of those uh travel size packages of q-tips um it has a little plastic case that comes with it for like i don't know 50 cents or whatever at dollar store or, or walmart or wherever uh I keep that in my bag um so yeah all right so moving on from that we got um uh two tripods uh the tripod i'm using now is a 60 inch um adjustable one um so i'm not gonna show it that but um you can see a little bit of it when i did the the camera unveil uh 
but it's just a standard one extends out to 60 inches it's it's pretty nice it works it does its, it does its job uh got this little bitty desktop uh tripod um at first i wasn't sure about this i didn't know how well it would work with my camera because it's got a little bit of weight to it um, but actually it works out pretty well uh it's got um really nice sticky feet on the bottom um keeps the camera in place um it's not going to be uh, very hard to just knock over you know and then it comes with a uh pocket clip again another nice feature just to stick in your pocket real quick if you if you need it or pull it out um standard uh mounting bolt on top uh it came with a another lens cover um this is for a canon camera uh mine's fine on my camera so i'm not going to open it uh, i'll keep it safe and keep it um nice and uh the plastic it came in in case i do need it later on or eventually I'll get another camera with multiple lenses. Um, I'll have an extra one for that. It came with a three memory card wallet. Uh, I don't have any memory cards in it. Now the kit came with a 32 gig uh, memory card. It's in the camera right now, uh, but you know, it's just a standard memory card. Uh, eventually I'll have uh, this filled up with memory cards. It's the last thing you wanna do when you're out in the field is run out of memory or run out of battery. Uh, the camera came with a battery. Of course, I told you about that. Came with the charger and charger cord. Uh, now I'm gonna get more batteries for it. Again, don't wanna run out of battery, but that's to come. One, one will do fine for now. Uh, it came with a memory card reader for the computer, USB 2.0 uh, connector. Uh, has a port for a standard memory card and then the micro memory card. Now my laptop has a memory card reader in it. Uh, but I'll probably end up using this because it'll probably work a little bit better. That, that's what these are, things are designed for. So came with that. Uh, it also came with a really nice extendable monopod, uh, monopo uh, or selfie stick, whatever you want to call it. Uh, extends out pretty far. It's actually almost taller than I am, and I'm 5'9". So it's really nice. came with a carrying case. That, that's really handy. The uh, tripod also came with a carrying case. It's pretty handy. Uh, I'm not real fond of the this little bitty string. Um, I don't know what to do to remedy that other than maybe have someone make me uh, a carrying case for it. That way I can carry both in one rather than having two separate bags. Uh, I may look into that because this string just it's not very strong and I can just imagine, you know, using this out in the field and, and this ripping and then I'll have nothing to carry my, my tripod or the, the pole other than my hands. And so, um, I'm going to look into saying about getting something made for that to carry both of those. Uh, the whole kit and the camera other than the monopod and the tripod, uh, fits really nicely in this bag. Um, it's from Vivitar. Uh, it's really nice. It's got a shoulder strap. Each side's got a zippered pocket um, and a little mesh area. Um, again, everything in the kit, other than the two two tall things, fits inside this kit, er, inside this bag. So that's really nice. Keep everything nice and safe and and secure. And uh, when I'm traveling i'll be able to just grab this and go i won't have to worry about trying to stick it in my back my old camera in my backpack and all that stuff now eventually i'm going to end up getting a backpack uh for when i get a, a bigger camera and have multiple cameras that i'll use um my a gopro and and a dslr and this camera um, this will be my main vlogging camera Unless I'm doing action stuff that I don't really care about the audio, then I'll use that, that the GoPro that I got because I am going to keep that. Um, I do have an extra one um, that I'm going to sell. Uh, so if you're interested in that, let me know. Let me know down at the bottom and I'll shoot you a price. Um, last thing is the camera didn't come with any cords like I told you. So I went on Amazon and bought a USB 2.0 to a, a USB B cord. Uh, this is a standard camera cord, Canon camera cord. Um, it's what is that? Three feet long, so it's longer than the standard one. 
you know, it was only like four dollars or whatever it was on Amazon, free shipping with Prime. Uh, so that's that. That's the whole kit. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Now that I had to do it three times, I'm like I said, I'm still learning uh, this whole process and how how the camera works, and and I'm gonna learn on lighting and and audio and and all that good stuff. So bear with me. I hope you you stay with me and grow with me as I uh, do this process. And eventually, um, these videos are gonna be coming out regularly. Maybe eventually, maybe every day. Um, right now, that's not gonna happen. Uh, there's just too many things going on. But uh, eventually, I like to do it every day and be a daily vlogger um, like so many of my uh, uh, guys that I watch on uh, YouTube um, Trucker Josh, Cruise Tips TV uh, a whole bunch of other ones um, those are just the two main ones that I watch so if you guys want some good quality content go check those guys out over on YouTube uh, that's uh, Trucker Josh uh, and, uh, Miss, and Cruise Tips TV uh, Trucker Josh is from Canada uh, he's a trucker. He just got married and so his vlogs are daily vlogs every day he Posts a video every day about his what he's doing in his life whether it be um, driving down the road in his truck or Just playing at his house with his dogs and his wife um, Cruise tips TV is everything you need to know about cruising very very good channel lots and lots of information about cruising they do have uh, live streams on sat on certain saturdays um, where she'll answer questions and and have live chat maybe one day we'll get to that you know that's a long way off but um i hope you liked it um if you like what you see make sure you hit that subscribe button that like button down there at the bottom um, turn the little bell on if you want notifications hit me up on social media i have a facebook account i have uh instagram i'll post those links down at the bottom so you guys can find me all right, this video is getting longer than I wanted to, so I'm out of here. Stay safe. Have fun. See you later. Started. This is the channel going. First things first.